Section 41 of the Book of Household Management. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Book of Household Management by Isabella Beaton. Recipes. Chapter 19, Part 2. Boiled Calf's Head with the Skin On. 876. Ingredients. Calf's Head. Boiling Water. Bread crumbs, one large bunch of parsley, butter, white pepper and salt to taste, four tablespoonfuls of melted butter, one tablespoonful of lemon juice, two or three grains of cayenne. Mode. Put the head into boiling water and let it remain by the side of the fire for three or four minutes. Take it out, hold it by the ear, and with the back of a knife scrape off the hair. Should it not come off easily, dip the head again into boiling water. When perfectly clean, Take the eyes out, cut off the ears, and remove the brain, which soak for an hour in warm water. Put the head into hot water to soak for a few minutes to make it look white, and then have ready a stew pan, into which lay the head, cover it with cold water, and bring it gradually to boil. Remove the scum and add a little salt, which assists to throw it up. Simmer it very gently from two and a half to three hours, and when nearly done, boil the brains for a quarter of an hour. Skin and chop them, not too finely, and add a tablespoonful of minced parsley which has been previously scalded. Season with pepper and salt, and stir the brains, parsley, etc., into about four tablespoonfuls of melted butter. Add the lemon juice and the cayenne, and keep these hot by the side of the fire. Take up the head, cut out the tongue, skin it, put it on a small dish with the brains round it, Sprinkle over the head a few bread crumbs mixed with a little minced parsley. Brown these before the fire, and serve with a tureen of parsley and butter, and either boiled bacon, ham, or pickled pork as an accompaniment. Time, two and a half to three hours. Average cost, according to the season, from three shillings to seven shillings sixpence. Sufficient for eight or nine persons. Seasonable from March to October. Boiled calf's head without the skin. 877. Ingredients. Calf's head, water, a little salt, four tablespoonfuls of melted butter, one tablespoonful of minced parsley, pepper and salt to taste, one tablespoonful of lemon juice. Mode. After the head has been thoroughly cleaned and the brains removed, soak it in warm water to blanch it. Lay the brains also into warm water to soak and let them remain for about an hour. Put the head into a stew pan with sufficient cold water to cover it, and when it boils, add a little salt. Take off every particle of scum as it rises, and boil the head until perfectly tender. Boil the brains, chop them, and mix them with melted butter, minced parsley, pepper, salt, and lemon juice in the above proportion. Take up the head, skin the tongue, and put it on a small dish with the brains round it. Have ready some parsley and butter. Smother the head with it, and the remainder send to table in tureen. Bacon, ham, pickled pork, or pig's cheek are indispensable with calf's head. The brains are sometimes chopped with hard-boiled eggs, and mixed with a little bechamel or white sauce. Time, from one and a half to two and a quarter hours. Average cost, according to the season, from three shillings to five shillings. Sufficient for six or seven persons. Seasonable from March to October. Note. The liquor in which the head was boiled should be saved. It makes excellent soup and will be found a nice addition to gravies, etc. Half a calf's head is as frequently served as a whole one, it being a more convenient sized joint for a small family. It is cooked in the same manner and served with the same sauces as in the preceding recipe. Hashed calf's head, cold meat cookery. 878. Ingredients. The remains of a cold boiled calf's head, one quart of the liquor in which it was boiled, a faggot of savoury herbs, one onion, one carrot, a strip of lemon peel, two blades of pounded mace, salt and white pepper to taste, a very little cayenne, rather more than two tablespoonfuls of sherry, one tablespoonful of lemon juice, one tablespoonful of mushroom ketchup, four meat balls. Mode. Cut the meat into neat slices and put the bones and trimmings into a stew pan with the above proportion of liquor that the head was boiled in. Add a bunch of savoury herbs, one onion, one carrot, a strip of lemon peel, 
and two blades of pounded mace, and let these boil for one hour, or until the gravy is reduced nearly half. Strain it into a clean stewpan, thicken it with a little butter and flour, and add a flavouring of sherry, lemon juice, and ketchup in the above proportion. Season with pepper, salt, and a little cayenne. Put in the meat, let it gradually warm through, but not boil more than two or three minutes. Garnish the dish with force meat balls and pieces of bacon rolled and toasted, placed alternately, and send it to table very hot. Time, altogether one and a half hours. Average cost, exclusive of the remains of the head, sixpence. Seasonable from March to October. Veal Collops and Entree 879. Ingredients. About two pounds of the prime part of the leg of veal, a few slices of bacon, forcemeat number 417, cayenne to taste, egg and bread crumbs, gravy. Mode. Cut the veal into long thin collops, flatten them, and lay on each a piece of thin bacon of the same size. Have ready some forcemeat made by recipe number 417, which spread over the bacon, Sprinkle over all a little cayenne, roll them up tightly, and do not let them be more than two inches long. Skewer each one firmly, egg and bread crumb them, and fry them a nice brown in a little butter, turning them occasionally, and shaking the pan about. When done, place them on a dish before the fire. Put a small piece of butter in the pan, dredge in a little flour, add a quarter of a pint of water, two tablespoonfuls of lemon juice, a seasoning of salt, pepper, and pounded mace, let the whole boil up and pour it over the collops. Time, from 10 to 15 minutes. Average cost, 10 pence per pound. Sufficient for 5 or 6 persons. Seasonable from March to October. Calf's liver, or fins, herbs, and sauce piquants. 880. Ingredients. A calf's liver, flour, a bunch of savoury herbs including parsley, when liked, 2 minced shallots, 1 teaspoonful of flour, one tablespoonful of vinegar, one tablespoonful of lemon juice, pepper and salt to taste, a quarter of a pint of water. Mode. Procure a calf's liver as white as possible, and cut it into slices of a good and equal shape. Dip them in flour, and fry them of a good colour in a little butter. When they are done, put them on a dish, which keep hot before the fire. Mince the herbs very fine. Put them in the frying pan with a little more butter. Add the remaining ingredients, simmer gently until the herbs are done, and pour over the liver. Time, according to the thickness of the slices, from 5 to 10 minutes. Average cost, 10 pence per pound. Sufficient for 7 or 8 persons. Seasonable from March to October. Calf's liver and bacon, 881. Ingredients, 2 or 3 pounds of liver, bacon, pepper and salt to taste, a small piece of butter, flour, two tablespoonfuls of lemon juice, a quarter of a pint of water. Mode. Cut the liver in thin slices and cut as many slices of bacon as there are of liver. Fry the bacon first and put that on a hot dish before the fire. Fry the liver in the fat which comes from the bacon, after seasoning it with pepper and salt and dredging over it a very little flour. Turn the liver occasionally to prevent its burning, and when done, lay it round the dish with a piece of bacon between each. Pour away the bacon fat, put in a small piece of butter, dredge in a little flour, add the lemon juice and water, give one boil and pour it in the middle of the dish. It may be garnished with slices of cut lemon or forcemeat balls. Time, according to the thickness of the slices, from 5 to 10 minutes. Average cost, 10 pence per pound. Sufficient for 6 or 7 persons. Seasonable from March to October. Calf's liver, larded and roasted, an entree. 882. Ingredients. A calf's liver, vinegar, one onion, three or four sprigs of parsley and thyme, salt and pepper to taste, one bay leaf, lardoons, brown gravy. Mode. Take a fine white liver and lard it the same as a fricandeau. Put it into vinegar with an onion cut in slices, parsley, thyme, bay leaf and seasoning in the above proportion. Let it remain in this pickle for 24 hours, then roast and baste it frequently with the vinegar, etc. Glaze it, serve it under a good brown gravy or sauce piquant, and send it to the table very hot. Time, rather more than one hour. Average cost, 10 pence per pound. 
Sufficient for seven or eight persons. Seasonable from March to October. Note. Calf's liver stuffed with forcemeat number 417, to which has been added a little fat bacon, will be found a very savoury dish. It should be lighted or wrapped in buttered paper, and roasted before a clear fire. Brown gravy and currant jelly should be served with it. Fillet of veal au bachamel, cold meat cookery. 883. Ingredients. A small fillet of veal, one pint of bechamel sauce number 367, a few bread crumbs, clarified butter. Mode. A fillet of veal that has been roasted the preceding day will answer very well for this dish. Cut the middle out rather deep, leaving a good margin round, from which to cut nice slices, and if there should be any cracks in the veal, fill them up with forcemeat. Mince finely the meat that was taken out, mixing with it a little of the forcemeat to flavour, and stir to it sufficient bechamel to make it of a proper consistency. Warm the veal in the oven for about an hour, taking care to baste it well, that it may not be dry. Put the mince in the place where the meat was taken out, sprinkle a few bread crumbs over it, and drop a little clarified butter on the bread crumbs. Put it into the oven for a quarter of an hour to brown, and pour bechamel round the sides of the dish. Time, altogether one and a half hours, seasonable from March to October. To ragout a knuckle of veal. 884. Ingredients. Knuckle of veal, pepper and salt to taste, flour, one onion, one head of celery, or a little celery seed, a faggot of savoury herbs, two blades of pounded mace, thickening of butter and flour, a few young carrots, one tablespoonful of ketchup, one tablespoonful of tomato sauce, three tablespoonfuls of sherry, the juice of a quarter of a lemon. Mode. Cut the meat from a knuckle of veal into neat slices. Season with pepper and salt and dredge them with flour. Fry them in a little butter of a pale brown and put them into a stew pan with the bone, which should be chopped in several places. Add the celery, herbs, mace and carrots. Pour over all about one pint of hot water and let it simmer very gently for two hours over a slow but clear fire. Take out the slices of meat and carrots. Strain and thicken the gravy with a little butter rolled in flour. Add the remaining ingredients, give one boil, put back the meat and carrots, let these get hot through, and serve. When in season, a few green peas boiled separately, and added to this dish at the moment of serving, would be found a very agreeable addition. Time, two hours. Average cost, five pence to sixpence per pound. Sufficient for four or six persons. Stewed knuckle of veal and rice, 885. Ingredients? Knuckle of veal, one onion, two blades of mace, one teaspoonful of salt, half a pound of rice. Mode. Have the knuckle cut small, or cut some cutlets from it, that it may be just large enough to be eaten the same day it is dressed, as cold boiled veal is not a particularly tempting dish. Break the shank bone, wash it clean, and put the meat into a stew pan with sufficient water to cover it. Let it gradually come to a boil, put in the salt, and remove the scum as fast as it rises. When it has simmered gently for about three quarters of an hour, add the remaining ingredients and stew the whole gently for two and a quarter hours. Put the meat into a deep dish, pour over it the rice, etc., and send boiled bacon and a tureen of parsley and butter to table with it. Time. A knuckle of veal weighing six pounds, three hours gentle stewing. Average cost, five pence to six pence per pound. Sufficient for five or six persons. Seasonable from March to October. Note, macaroni instead of rice, boiled with the veal, will be found good, or the rice and macaroni may be omitted and the veal sent to table smothered in parsley and butter. Roast loin of veal, 886. Ingredients, veal, melted butter. Mode, paper the kidney fat, roll in and skewer the flap which makes the joint a good shape, dredge it well with flour and put it down to a bright fire. Should the loin be very large, skewer the kidney back for a time to roast thoroughly. Keep it well basted, and a short time before serving, remove the paper from the kidney, and allow it to acquire a nice brown colour, but it should not be burnt. Have ready some melted butter, put it into the dripping pan after it is emptied of its contents, pour it over the veal and serve. Garnish the dish with slices of lemon and forcemeat balls, and send to table with it 
boiled bacon, ham, pickled pork, or pig's cheek. Time, a large loin, three hours. Average cost, nine and a half pence per pound. Sufficient for seven or eight persons. Seasonable from March to October. Note, a piece of toast should be placed under the kidney when the veal is dished. Loin of veal au bechamel. Cold meat cookery. 887. Ingredients. Loin of veal, half a teaspoonful of minced lemon peel, rather more than half a pint of bechamel or white sauce. Mode. A loin of veal which has come from the table with very little taken off answers very well for this dish. Cut off the meat from the inside, mince it, then mix with it some minced lemon peel. Put into it sufficient bechamel to warm through. In the meantime, wrap the joint in buttered paper and place it in the oven to warm. When thoroughly hot, dish the mince, place the loin above it, and pour over the remainder of the bechamel. Time, one and a half hours to warm the meat in the oven. Seasonable from March to October. Loin of veal à la daube. 888. Ingredients. The chump end of a loin of veal. Forcemeat number 417. A few slices of bacon. A bunch of savoury herbs. Two blades of mace. Half a teaspoonful of whole white pepper. One pint of veal stock or water. Five or six green onions. Mode. Cut off the chump from a loin of veal and take out the bone. Fill the cavity with forcemeat number 417, tie it up tightly, and lay it in a stew pan with the bones and trimmings, and cover the veal with a few slices of bacon. Add the herbs, mace, pepper and onions, and stock or water. Cover the pan with a closely fitting lid and simmer for two hours, shaking the stew pan occasionally. Take out the bacon, herbs and onions. Reduce the gravy, if not already thick enough, to a glaze, with which glaze the meat and serve with tomato, mushroom, or sorrel sauce. Time, two hours. Average cost, ninepence per pound. Sufficient for four or five persons. Seasonable from March to October. Minced veal with bechamel sauce, cold meat cookery. Very good. 889. Ingredients. The remains of a fillet of veal, one pint of bechamel sauce, number 367, half a teaspoonful of minced lemon peel, Force meat balls. Mode. Cut, but do not chop, a few slices of cold roast veal as finely as possible, sufficient to make rather more than one pound, weighed after being minced. Make the above proportion of bechamel by recipe number 367. Add the lemon peel, put in the veal, and let the whole gradually warm through. When it is at the point of simmering, dish it and garnish with force meat balls and fried sippets of bread. Time to simmer one minute. Average cost, exclusive of the cold meat, one shilling fourpence. Sufficient for five or six persons. Seasonable from March to October. Minced veal, more economical. 890. Ingredients. The remains of cold roast fillet or loin of veal. Rather more than one pint of water. One onion. Half a teaspoonful of minced lemon peel. Salt and white pepper to taste. One blade of pounded mace two or three young carrots, a faggot of sweet herbs, thickening of butter and flour, one tablespoonful of lemon juice, three tablespoonfuls of cream or milk. Mode. Take about one pound of veal, and should there be any bones, dredge them with flour and put them into a stewpan with the brown outside, and a few meat trimmings. Add rather more than a pint of water, the onion cut in slices, lemon peel, seasoning, mace, carrots and herbs. Simmer these well for rather more than one hour, and strain the liquor. Rub a little flour into some butter. Add this to the gravy, set it on the fire, and when it boils, skim well. Mince the veal finely by cutting and not chopping it. Put it in the gravy, let it get warm through gradually, add the lemon juice and cream, and when it is on the point of boiling, serve. Garnish the dish with sippets of toasted bread and slices of bacon rolled and toasted. Forcemeat balls may also be added. If more lemon peel is liked than is stated above, put a little very finely minced to the veal after it is warmed in the gravy. Time, one hour to make the gravy. Average cost, exclusive of the cold meat, sixpence. Seasonable from March to October. The calf a symbol of divine power. A singular symbolical ceremony existed among the Hebrews in which the calf performed a most important part. 
the calf being a type or a symbol of divine power, or what was called the Elohim, the almighty intelligence that brought them out of Egypt, was looked upon much in the same light by the Jews as the cross subsequently was by the Christians, a mystical emblem of the divine passion and goodness. Consequently, an oath taken on either the calf or the cross was considered equally solemn and sacred by Jew or Nazarene, and the breaking of it a soul-staining perjury on themselves, and an insult and profanation directly offered to the Almighty. To render the oath more impressive and solemn, it was customary to slaughter a dedicated calf in the temple, when, the priest having divided the carcass into a certain number of parts, and with intervening spaces, arranged the severed limbs on the marble pavement, the one or all the party, if there was many individuals, to be bound by the oath, repeating the words of the compact, threaded their way in and out through the different spaces, till they had taken the circuit of each portion of the divided calf when the ceremony was concluded. To avert the anger of the Lord, when Jerusalem was threatened by Nebuchadnezzar and his Babylonian host, the Jews had made a solemn to God, ratified by the ceremony of the calf, if he released them from their dreaded foe, to cancel the servitude of their Hebrew brethren. After investing the city for some time, and reducing the inhabitants to dreadful suffering and privation, the Babylonians, hearing that Pharaoh, whom the Jews had solicited for aid, was rapidly approaching with a powerful army, hastily raised the siege, and, removing to a distance, took up a position where they could intercept the Egyptians and still cover the city. No sooner did the Jews behold the retreat of the enemy, than they believed all danger was past, and with their usual turpitude they repudiated their oath and refused to liberate their oppressed countrymen. For this violation of their covenant with the Lord, they were given over to all the horrors of the sword, pestilence, and famine. Jeremiah 34, 15-17 Mince veal and macaroni, a pretty side or corner dish. 891. Ingredients. Three quarters of a pound of minced cold roast veal, three ounces of ham, one tablespoonful of gravy, pepper and salt to taste, three teaspoonful of grated nutmeg, quarter of a pound of bread crumbs, quarter of a pound of macaroni, one or two eggs to bind, a small piece of butter. Mode. Cut some nice slices from a cold fillet of veal. Trim off the brown outside and mince the meat finely with the above proportion of ham. Should the meat be very dry, add a spoonful of good gravy. Season highly with pepper and salt. Add the grated nutmeg and bread crumbs and mix these ingredients with one or two eggs well beaten, which should bind the mixture and make it like force meat. In the meantime, boil the macaroni in salt and water and drain it. Butter a mould, put some of the macaroni at the bottom and sides of it in whatever form is liked. Mix the remainder with the force meat, fill the mould up to the top, put a plate or small dish on it and steam for half an hour. Turn it out carefully and serve with good gravy poured round but not over the meat. Time, half an hour. Average cost, exclusive of the cold meat, ten pence. Seasonable from March to October. Note, to make a variety, boil some carrots and turnips separately in a little salt and water. When done, cut them into pieces about an eighth of an inch in thickness. Butter an oval mould and place these in it, in white and red stripes alternately, at the bottom and sides. Proceed as in the foregoing recipe, and be very careful in turning it out of the mould. Moulded Minced Veal, Cold Meat Cookery, 892. Ingredients. Three quarters of a pound of cold roast veal, a small slice of bacon, quarter of a teaspoonful of minced lemon peel, half an onion chopped fine, salt, pepper, and pounded mace to taste, a slice of toast soaked in milk, one egg. Mode. Mince the meat very fine, after removing from it all skin and outside pieces, and chop the bacon. Mix these well together, adding the lemon peel, onion, seasoning, mace, and toast. When all the ingredients are thoroughly incorporated, heat up an egg with which bind the mixture. Butter a shape, put in the meat, and bake for three quarters of an hour. Turn it out of the mould carefully and pour it round a good brown gravy. A sheep's head dressed in this manner is an economical and savoury dish. Time, three quarters of an hour. Average cost, exclusive of the meat, sixpence. Seasonable from March to October. Braised neck of veal, 893. Ingredients. The best end of the neck of veal, from three to four pounds. Bacon, one tablespoonful of minced parsley. Salt, 
pepper, and grated nutmeg to taste, one onion, two carrots, a little celery, when this is not obtainable, use the seed, half a glass of sherry, thickening of butter and flour, lemon juice, one blade of pounded mace. Mode. Prepare the bacon for larding, and roll it in minced parsley, salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg. Lard the veal, put it into a stewpan with a few slices of lean bacon or ham, an onion, carrots, and celery, and do not quite cover it with water. Stew it gently for two hours, or until it is quite tender. Strain off the liquor, stir together over the fire in a stewpan, a little flour and butter until brown. Lay the veal in this, the upper side to the bottom of the pan, and let it remain till of a nice brown colour. Place it in the dish, pour into the stewpan as much gravy as is required, boil it up, skim well, add the wine, pounded mace and lemon juice, simmer for three minutes, pour it over the meat and serve. Time, rather more than two hours. Average cost, eightpence per pound. Sufficient for five or six persons. Seasonable from March to October. Birth of calves. The cow seldom produces more than a single calf, sometimes twins, and, very rarely, three. A French newspaper, however, the Nouveau Bulletin des Sciences, gave a trustworthy but extraordinary account of a cow which produced nine calves in all at three successive births, in three successive years. The first year, four cow calves. The second year, three calves, two of them females. The third year, two calves, both females. With the exception of two belonging to the first birth, all were suckled by the mother. Roast Neck of Veal, 894. Ingredients. Veal, melted butter, force meat balls. Mode. Have the veal cut from the best end of the neck. Dredge it with flour and put it down to a bright, clear fire. Keep it well basted. Dish it, pour over it some melted butter and garnish the dish with fried force meat balls. Send to the table with a cut lemon. The scrag may be boiled or stewed in various ways with rice, onion sauce or parsley and butter. Time, about two hours. Average cost, eight pence per pound. Sufficient, four or five pounds for five or six persons. Seasonable from March to October. End of section 41